doing a little something different today. I have a practical uh, little project at the house there. I need to um, want to make a bench for um, doing a variety of different things downstairs. And I remembered I had this log. This is the butt of the long log or the beam, long beam that we cut off because it was crooked. And it should, should do just what I need to. I, hopefully I'll get enough material out of it, but it's a seven foot piece. I really only need about six foot lengths and shorter. Um, so yeah, uh, kind of fun. Do something a little bit different. So I'm gonna mill this up, bring it downstairs, let it acclimate for a little while, and then uh, build the bench. So uh, kind of a fun project right off the property to a practical uh, use for it. So this is all one and a half inch material here. Um, and then I'll cut those down to oh, maybe in half, uh, five inch pieces. Let's see. Uh, and then I, so I got a still pretty good size piece there on the mill. Uh, and my plan is on that, I'll make the posts out of that and make some three by three. So I should be able to get uh, four three by threes. They don't have to be that long, so I don't really have to worry about that one not being full thickness down here, but it's still a nice looking piece of timber there left. So three by threes out of that. So this is the final cut of this one here, of this log uh, making material to make a bench inside the house. I'm going to cut these to about in half, which I'm not even sure what the measurement is here. And about 
10 inches. So I'll cut them to five, and then they'll be one and a half by five. Not all those will be good full length boards, but really only need about six footers, and these are seven footers. So yeah, then I'll bring those inside. This is what we ended up getting out of that log. So my three by three is there, that'll make the posts. Um, my one and a half by fives make the sides. Um, got a couple of little pieces. I need some cleats. Um, so I kind of made some one by one and a half there to screw into the top of the, the table or bench top so anyway pretty pretty cool taking a uh, a log that I was thinking about just doing firewood out of for my dad to um, some functional lumber uh, to make a project so uh, next is making the bench a couple of neighborhood deer there always kind of hanging out. So that's the lumber I milled out of that tree. Um, I have this piece of laminate or it's like chipboard that has the smooth white layer on it. I like making benches out of that just because it brightens up the work surface easily to wipe off and clean um, and relatively cheap. Uh, I did notice the floor here when I put this down that it is far from even, but I uh, should be able to make a, a flat surface by uh, building the network in place. So well, let's get to it. All right, so there's my cut-ups pieces there. I got four posts, they're 35 inches long. The long runners there are 81, and then the short pieces are 21, and then that one by material, one by one and a half, that's gonna be the cleats that I'll drill through to uh, secure the, the top of the bench. So next thing to do, is lay out the top braces of the bench. Try to get those flat as possible.
got that upper frame done and in those cleats and I pre uh, put in the screws and that's what I'll screw into the bench top there. So then now I'll make the bottom brace but just have three sides to that. All right, the next thing I do is I just use these clamps and I'm gonna position the table where I want it so that'll take into account any irregularities of the floor. Um, I wanna make sure that there's a space for the post so when you uh, put the top on it sucks down to the frame and not the posts themselves. Um, and then when I got it all level, where I want it to be, then I will uh, sink some screws in, put the brace on the bottom, and then we'll be ready for the top. So, pretty simple little project. It's kind of the first time I've been using uh, stuff inside the house for the uh, lumber I've milled myself. This is real rough. I haven't cleaned it up, haven't done anything, um, but it's just a functional bench for me, so. It doesn't need to be fancied up at all. So there's the bench completed. Uh, it's eight feet wide, 32 inches deep, and 36 inch uh, working height. It's nice and sturdy, uh, but the cool thing about this is that it's all made out of homemade lumber that I just milled yesterday. I do expect some shrinkage and warping and cracking over the next few months uh, since that wasn't dried properly, but. Uh, for a workbench, it'll just it'll be fine. If it does get wobbly, I can unscrew those uh, screws and adjust those legs. Not sure if I'm a do-it-yourself guy. Uh, kind of weird filming inside versus firming outside, but uh, I appreciate you watching. <laughs> 